Hercusy EX Sandler. Welcome back to uh, Tom Plays E4 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with the Ottomans and working our way to vassalizing, not vassalizing, annexing Ramazan and also preparing for a big shindig. Getting ready to attack Theodoro on the assumption that Wallachia is going to join in. Truce of the Knights has ended, good stuff. So yeah, our first concern is going to be fabricating a claim. Oh great. 28th of February 1480. Right, so this is this is just a general bad thing. So standard cloth for army uniforms and our troops and morale has gone down until 1480. That's a pain. Do I want to fight a war when my morale's been knocked down? Well, arguably yes, because these two nations are still much smaller than mine. I think there's a pretty good chance that I can defeat them anyway. So we fabricate a clear one. That Gyurgi. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking it doesn't have a border with anyone. So I don't have any handy diplomats knocking around. If I was to declare war on Theodora around now. Well, I hear it would come to defend them. So that's what I hear, isn't it? If I move my army across, I'm just thinking that it would be nice to immediately attack their army. They're onto me. And where they're going. Heading to the capital. Okay. Right, so I'm going to declare war on. Theodora. I'm going to send my navy out. Okay, let's take Theodora. Lakia has joined in, so fine. I'm going to besiege both of their castles. Hopefully crush their army in the meantime. We'll see if Theodoro actually managed to attack. But it's really Wallachia we want to do the feat first. So of course, once we make peace with Theodoro, the war is over. So the plan is we'll defeat them, we will take this piece of territory. Nasty. Interesting. Okay, so Crusade. In effect, I believe. Sorry, I'm just going to split my troops out and take these other provinces as well. I believe that gives any Catholic countries an incentive to declare war on us, and probably a Casus Belli as well. So dangerous, potentially. It's not quite as bad as a coalition, but <laughs> it's not good news. I'm wondering, a little unfortunate actually, I suspect Wallachia is a Roman Catholic, oh no it isn't, it's Greek Orthodox, or Eastern Orthodox, sorry. Right, okay, so maybe I'll get away with fighting Wallachia, I think this might put me off making a move on Hungary or Venice, as long as the Crusade's ongoing. I see, that explains why they're allies. 
Partly. Now on the plus side, now that we have three vassals, at least temporarily, in the case of Ramazan, we should find that we've got a bunch of very small armies, admittedly, but some small armies wandering around who might actually help us. You never know. Okay. Occupied our province, so I'm going to bring those guys back to rejoin the main army. And we've occupied that province. So I'm trying not to be greedy here, which is probably just as well with that crusade. I'm only going to take one province, just opportunistically, again, like I did last time, because Wallachia isn't currently my main target. And I'm hoping that will also limit the amount to which I alarm other countries. I mean, I'm literally, even though one of them is a country, I'm only taking two provinces overall. So it hopefully won't give me too much aggressive expansion. We're expecting a rebellion. Armenian separatists in Mush any second, which is a little annoying, Mush being at the other end of the country. Really got to make a third army. But never mind. I might as well speed things up. That's my network from Venice. I'm going to have to be very on guard against the Europeans while there's still technically a crusade. Not entirely sure how long the crusades last. Not something that happens that often. The Mamluks, of course, are trying to spy on us. Quarter province. Ooh, okay. Let's just slow down a little. We have got a state. I see, yes. Cord and Hazer. Naturalised Imereti. So I'm guessing that national idea was for administrative ideas again, which again we're probably going to ignore. Theodora haven't moved. Very kind of them. They're waiting while we finish off their only ally. Okay, I've lost some claims now. Can I claim Naxos? No one claim Sio. Ponte. Never mind. On the plus side, Austria is doing some internal war. England does not consider us a rival anymore. Good. Don't really want to rival England anyway. Tell you what, while I'm waiting for this, I'm going to improve relations with Poland. Because, as I mentioned last time, I'd very much like to avoid being their enemy. Unfortunately, I think they've rivaled Bohemia. Almost makes me want to drop Bohemia in a way, but uh, they have been a very good ally. So, not going to right now. Let's instead try to get this siege finished. National idea again is for the mercenaries. I'm going to ignore it because I need technology. I need to gain more national idea groups. Because if anything, I think I'm rather behind with all the coring I've been doing. Diplomat from Corfu, that's fine. We have won the siege of Trivagosti. Brilliant. Can I attack Theodoro? No, I cannot. I suspect. armies. I suspect I'm going to have to board the boats in order to attack them. Which is fair enough. Unfortunately, the second I move my boats, they'll probably start getting ideas. From Wallachia, what are you offering me? Seed Georgiou, play 95 ducats. Ah, let's decline that because we've just won the siege of Georgiou as well. So, we're going to bring the back... Actually, do I have a... No, I don't have a spy. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So you guys, I want to head down to somewhere near Mush. Travels on will do. And I'm going to do my own suit for peace. However, I also need to actually attack Olahia. Why? No, 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 no. What? Oh no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Right, so we do have the general on board. That's what was bothering me. I didn't think we were taking the general. Alright, see for peace, just demands. Same deal, that's fine. There we go. And we will make that into a core. Well, like he is looking a little smaller now. Right, transport our army to Theodora. And we will hopefully. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's another reason I picked that. I knew it had a castle in it. This might come in handy. We now have a, a fort on the border. Obviously, we have more forts than we strictly need. Okay, now I don't think Theodora or anyone are doing anything, so I might just speed things up. Oh, we lost our rival, we're of Austria now. Lost our Cassus Belly, that's fine. Knights are claiming things. Fezan has built a spy network. Interesting. Alright, so we're presumably doing a siege now. Yes, we are. Excellent, right. Costly trade embargoes. Well, before we do that, let's see if there are any rivals that we can pick. Can't add one by the rule. Right, okay. Okay, we will revoke the embargo against Austria. They're no longer a rival. We possibly don't want to think about attacking the Europeans right now. Which means our next target is probably going to be Ak Koyunlu again. Which is interesting. Naples is having a rebellion. Wonderful. Wonderful. We are actually in a position to annex Ramazan now, but we can't do it, I think, because we're at war. They're at war because we're at war. So it's certainly looking like... Okay, let's think about Akkayonlu. If we were to declare war on them, Karakunlu would not join in because they're our ally. However, we only have two claims now. Diyarbakir and Urfa. So why don't we fabricate a claim on Aintab, if we possibly can. We'll start building a spy network, see how it goes. See how it goes, but in the meantime, we're going to speed up time, get the siege over with. What have we got? Right, it's Karakionlu again. This time it's our claim on the van. To put a positive spin on things again, but I can see this is going to be a thorn in my side. What we really need to do is get Akkayonlu out of the way and try and drag Karakayonlu into a war with the Mamluks so we can make the most use of them. Okay, I need to pause this temporarily. Right, Byzantine separatists have come from Corfu. That is interesting. Let me send down an army to attack them. However, we've also reached maximum monarch power. Right, so this is interesting. It's something I wasn't going to get into because of the... Just to keep things simple, but we've actually reached the point where we've got so many penalties because we're so far ahead on military technology that we actually cannot use this technology for anything. There are things you can use them for, like we could put down this rebellion, that takes military technology, I can't think of much else. But the other option you have is development. 
so I'm going to choose Constantinople and you see here we've got these three options for improving development so in this case we have too many military points so I'm literally just going to click on this and use some of our military power to increase development I'm going to do it twice in fact you know what I'm going to do it three times there is advantages to getting multiples of 10 in development it gets you an extra building slot so happy days I just wanted to pause it because we're theoretically wasting monarch points this is something you can also do to help institutions spread but it's not something I'm going to look into as the um, Ottomans as a rule so most of the time if I'm doing development it's going to be in our capital city because having a highly developed capital city can give us a better chance of the institution starting in our country because they're, they're generally our best city Lost Yanya. Yes, thank you, Corfu, for harboring Byzantine separatists. I'll be sure to remember that. Uh, right, so we're still doing siege. Oh, we've had an excellent year. We've gained manpower. Wonderful. We do need that because we're nearly always at war. We're still expecting a rebellion in Mush at any time. At least we're not too far away from Mush. So we can probably attack them as needed. We also have enough money to start building workshops. If you remember, if we look at our missions, uh, one of our next missions, build buildings, we need at least five workshops. And these are desirable anyway. So I would like to pick some places to build them. So again, I think we're looking mainly at the green section. It does also tell you which are the best places to build them, so Constantinople is a definite. Castamonu. Castamonu. Not always that easy to see where places are. So I might just stick to places I know. Adirna, I can see, is plus 0.16. What else do we have? there C plus 0.14 these guys are saying we've got a plus 0.18 somewhere oh there's a 16 again there's another 16 that's good where's our 18 clearly I've gone blind as I am completely unable to see it. Okay, cast a mono. So I'm going to use a find again. Press the F key. Cast a mono. Which is here. There we go. So, build improvements, workshop. Cast a mono. Brilliant. And I think we now have one more we can do. And this looks like a good place. Selenic. I think that overall, especially since it looks like we may already have one or two, perhaps. One, two, three, four, five. That should actually fulfill that mission. So, excellent. Want to battle without any generals against the enemy with no generals. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get this finished and get stuck back into diplomacy soon. <laughs> Maybe declare war on Akka only. Right, on the siege of Theodora. Got a naval battle happening. Shouldn't take us too long to deal with. You move to Constantinople. I am going to not sue for peace because I can't. Why not? Where are my diplomats right now? Hover over the diplomats. Spy networking up here only, that's good. Improve relations in Cyprus, don't need that. Improve relations in Ramazan. Alright, so let's take away the one that's improving relations in Cyprus. Our relations with them are already very, very good. We can probably actually build this ship and start moving our troops out of Theodora. 
some point we're going to be suing for peace. So I want full annexation, please. There we go. So we now own a Theodoro. We're going to core it. Being told we have too few rivals, so we can now pick a rival again. Hungary immediately leaps to mind, I have to say. Are we still rivaling Venice? We are. However, I'm still disinclined to attack them with the crusade on. I'm basically hoping that even though the Pope was called a crusade, I'm guessing at Austria's behest, we that maybe there'll be no takers, maybe no one's going to fancy attacking us. It does rather depend on us keeping our strength up. We should also be able to raise an embargo against Hungary again. Issue embargo. There we go. Right. Right. Okay. We should now be able to annex Ramazan. Which is going to put other people off becoming our vassal. A little unfortunate. But if you do, it's all going to cost us diplomatic power. I believe. Across the military access, that is fine. I am happy to give you military access. Alright, let's combine these armies and we're going to march them down towards Akeonglu. Do you want... Now, what do we actually need? We're going to need 30. So we've actually got a fair way to go before we can gain a new claim. So of Matega. Yeah, that's fine. We don't, we're not going to make use of those. We have lost an advisor. Our military advisor. And I'm really wishing we had a really good one. Uh, well, we do have plus 9.8, so let us take the Discipline one. Discipline and morale are always good. Discipline's always good, morale's good at the start of a game. So even though that reduces our money considerably, I think it's the best advisor that we can get. I'm going to split this army so they're no longer taking damage. In fact, I might even do that with this one. So we're entirely on the border. In fact, I may even stop the Armenian rebellion from firing. I have to say, could do with starting the battle reasonably soon. But we're good. I'm guessing we've just finished building all our workshops. Yes. So our next option is build a treasury. For which we actually need to save money for once. New technology, we can get Renaissance Thought. Which is brilliant. So we've got a new national idea. Juice from Naxos has ended. France Council military access fine. Right, so in picking a national idea, I tend to go for whichever we're furthest to head in. It doesn't actually apply here, but we already have a national idea group in administrative technology. So we're on military versus diplomatic. And I am currently annexing someone. So although these kind of look neck and neck, we do have, we're further along with military technology, we've got more of it and we're also not wasting it at the moment plus we've just invested in an advisor who gives us extra military and our current ruler is better at military than diplomacy so on the whole <laughs> on the whole i'm going to pick a military one long story short now in the early game there are benefits to defensive ideas because they improve morale of armies which is good in the early game we're always going to want offensive and quality quantity can be useful as can defensive, but I'm going to go for defensive because we're early game. We must make sure we do not fall behind on military tech compared to certainly the nations we're fighting 
and any possible rivals. So Akhil Military Tech is 7. We're also 7, that's fine. Karakion Lu is actually 6, so I think we're good. So I'm going to invest in two military ideas, which as long as our tech level remains the same, should give us a tremendous advantage over anyone with the same tech level, if they don't have any military ideas. Not necessarily going to go on to the third straight away, we may want to get the technology instead, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Compare it to our rivals each time, and our allies. Okay, so all we need now is this claim, which we'll get at 30. So we just wind forward to the next month. Might need two months, not sure. No, we do not. Fabricate claim on aim tab. Looks like it's the only one we can fabricate anyway. Gonna stop building a spy network and we're basically going to attack. First chance we get. Before all, all our rebellions start firing. I suspect we're going to need a, an air, a bit of peace afterwards. The Pope has excommunicated the ruler of France. It's handy. Hopefully that means the Europeans will be fighting amongst themselves instead of trying to launch one of their wonderful crusades. We shall see. Okay, so we can declare war. We've got the option to take these three provinces closest to us, so we still can't take everything. And Karak Yunlu is not going to join in because they like us. However, we've apparently still got a truce. I really should have paid attention to that. Okay, when does the truce end? Truce with Atke Lu ends in December 1482. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I think we're probably just going to be holding on till then. What I would like to look at in the meantime is whether we have any options for vassalizing. This is Naxos. It looks to me like they would accept the vassalization. We have improved relations with them a fair bit though, so I need to crunch the numbers. We're going to need 190 to vassalize them. We can improve another 39. Okay. 39. Which will bring us up to... 61? Bring us up to 61. An alliance will give us an extra 50, which will bring us up to 111. Claim guarantee, another 10, 121. Offer military access will be 131. From gifts and subsidies, we can get another 40, 171. We can't actually do it, can we? Right, so it's actually, I don't think, worth trying to vassalize them. Now, to be fair, there is ex aggressive expansion. Which is 14, so in theory we can get another 14 from that. Still not enough. I think we're going to have to attack them. And they have no allies. Okay, so instead of trying to annex them, I'm going to build a spy network with them. And we're going to look at attacking. In the meantime, Okay. Ah. We have annexed Ramazan. We've got rid of that thing where we had too many relations. You see we're now on to four. We don't have to call the province. That's been taken care of. And we now have direct access to the Mamluks. Which is kind of cool. However. I do want to look at our military setup. Mamluks are making claims. Up to them, I suppose. We have got room for five more troops. We also have room for no more boats. Right, now I was considering the navy. Okay, so the reason we have more troops than I thought now is that we've actually gained Ramazan's army. 
We've also gained their navy. So let's bring their navy down round to Constantinople, where our main navy is. What's this? That is a light ship. That's fine, that's one of ours. Okay. So I think we should make this the core of a new army. A third army that is going to sit in the west while we're attacking the east. So our current armies are 25 troops each. I think they're four cavalry and the rest is currently infantry. We don't currently have any guns. Which might be something we need to rectify actually before we worry too much about building up a new army. While we're building that spy network, other things to think about. Crimea, could we vassalize them? Probably, actually. We probably could. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. I'm assuming these guys are still subjects. Vassal of no guy. Which is fine, but does mean that we could do with starting a spy network on the no-guy. So we'd like to have a rebellion there soon anyway. And I also want to improve relations with Poland again. I see our relations with them have gone down, which is not good. I really would like to keep them moderately friendly if we possibly can. It probably isn't possible, we'll probably end up having to fight them anyway. But he can but try. Why aren't you... Oh, I see you were... They weren't one navy. Right. Fine. Fine, fine. So... Naxos. I think we're going to be able to attack Naxos before we can attack... Akkoyunlu. So I should get into position for that. Ideally. So we're going to need 20, and hopefully no one's going to care too much. So I need to speed up immensely. We're also possibly going to have to put down a couple of rebellions, depending. Ah, oh, brilliant. We do need money, but we need prestige more. Prestige is always more valuable than money. So let's spend it generously and gain 10 prestige. these people together. Do we have the option of guns? We do. Right. I want each of my main armies to have two guns. They're not very good at this stage but they can be useful in a siege. So let's also bring the navy together. Well, good grief we've lost our military advisor already. Right, so there are no really good advisors, so I'm going to go for Land Maintenance Modifier, which will make our army cheaper. And back to the waiting game. Not too much longer to go. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Right, this is going to happen a lot. It's the price we pay for having the Janissaries. They want, we've got a new ruler, our ruler's finally died, and again, better off paying it. Doesn't mean we're going to end up with a loan, I think. Theodora has been caught. We've got a stability drop because we've changed rulers, and we now have a new ruler who isn't as good. Which is unfortunate. But there's not a lot we can do about it. Okay, so we're going to make a state around Theodora. Of that state. Our new ruler has some national decisions. Generally speaking, these are good and worth taking, especially if you're a legalist. So let's do this. 
or our other concerns. Uh, nothing major, we... oh, we're low on money. Let me just check. Could we ask for a contribution? We can, but how long do we have before we want diplomatic support again? Two years. I think we can get away with that. Probably still going to have to take a loan out. Unless we sell a castle? No, I don't think we actually sell them. I think we destroy them. I think we're going to be taking a loan out no matter what we do. Can't be helped. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just pay it off. We're not short on money. Oh, we haven't. Oh, brilliant. We just narrowly avoided taking a loan. The Janissaries didn't quite manage to bankrupt us thanks to our merchants. Lucky is making claims. Just need the. There we go. There's a spy network. So we fabricate a claim on Naxos. I'm going to stop building the spy network. So I think we can manage without it. Move that cannon on there. Incorporate the new cannons into these armies. So each army will now be 27. And we've actually finished our truce of Akkayunlu. It's upsetting because I'm now not in a position to attack them. I'm about to attack Naxos, who still have no allies. So let's take him. Take him down immediately. We need our navy to beat their navy so that we can cross this red hash line. I doubt we can cross it yet. Oh, we can now. Is our navy in position? Apparently not. It's kind of surprising. And we have Serbian separatists in Kosovo. And a spy network in Corfu. Right, so Serbian separatists. That army is not yet capable of taking them down. We're also expecting Armenian Separatists any second. However, I don't know how long the siege is going to be. So I might need to go and take down the Serbian Separatists anyway. So on this one occasion, partly to demonstrate it, um, if we go on the Rebellion, I'm going to actually choose Harsh Treatment. I'm also going to boost stability. Take some administrative power. So, if we look at our provincial unrest, the Armenian separatists has gone down 30%. So they're no longer about to launch. So this hopefully means I can move this army across and take down the Serbian separatists. But we'll see. We shall see. In the meantime, Nothing to do but wait for this siege to finish. Mm, Serbian separatists are making inroads. I guess we'll just leave the siege and concentrate on taking down the separatists. Oh, that's good. I think they're heading into Hungary. Maybe Hungary will even take them down. Which oh, Crimea is subjugation. That's fine. In the meantime, okay, we've maximised our relations with Poland as much as we can. We have taken Naxos, so hopefully we can annex them. That's brilliant. You are now going to move into position to attack at Kernlu. I'm going to make Naxos into a core. I'm going to take these guys back to Bali. And hopefully, well, <laughs> barring rebel up like risings, which are very likely to happen any minute, and barring those guys coming back is also quite like to happen, we can actually get in position to attack at Kayumbu. Excellent.
Excellent. Hunger is taking them down. Saves me a job. We can move over here. I might move into mush and it increase the speed. It's all going to depend on whether I can get this battle, this war underway before any rebellions start. However, that is going to be for next time now. I've actually run a little over anyway. Ooh, growth of cities attracts serfs. Moving out of provinces. Right, the Umeri won't like this. But I don't really want the hit to my morale of armies or the corruption. So I think we should accept it. Plus it improves Constantinople. Which is actually a good thing. So this is a sign. This basically means that the estate has gone below 40%. Which is unfortunate. But it can't be helped. It will recover with time and it won't take long for this warning to dis disappear. But it doesn't mean we have some penalties in the meantime. Plus we need that to recover as much as possible so that we can get a diplomatic power. Okay, excellent. We are poised for rebellions. But we're also poised to take at Kyunglu. Oh, apparently we made an alliance with no guy, but no one is willing to help them. So, first thing next week, we're going to launch into Arcarian Lu and take these three provinces. Which we can maybe use as a staging point for attacking the Mamluks. Maybe even for annexing some other people. We will see. But yeah, so... <laughs> again, not a tremendous amount happened. Well, we've taken Theodoro, a little bit of Wallachia. We've taken Naxos, we're making little bits of progress. But yes, we're uh, mostly gearing up for the attack on Akiyomlu. So yeah, that'll be for next time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.